Ah, spring, Good Friday, which is the 18th of April 2014, 07, 06, 53 hours. The wonky bar, I don't know. Anyway, yesterday, yesterday night, I spent two hours replacing, well, first of all, a diaphragm. And then the whole siphon <laughs> on the toilet. I am no plumber. It took a number of goes. So far, so good. No leaks. So I'm off to Newport to celebrate. I'm thinking the Godfrey Morgan. And then probably the lamb. See if they've got any tiny rebel in stock. I could go for that. Bridge end in. When I was 18, something like that, me and a couple of mates ended up in there, all dressed as Angus Young. Because that place used to be run by Angus Donaldson. Angus. And they said, this is what we this way. Things change, things move on. Oh, got a Samsung U6 today, so should be alright for the Ogs. Only one Og. I don't know things move on, but sometimes it's good to go back. And it's spring. Chilly, but spring. Newport. In the distance, Newport regeneration. I'm thinking, because I didn't use any of the money I loaded on the card when I went for the March Museums, Starbucks, or whipped cream. I know. I know that as well. There is a wind and it's chilly. Anyway. Yes, please. This will be later. And this the can't use the start. And cast mark proved. Is now. And we're off. Right, well, it's two minutes past nine. Maybe three. The magazine. The beer. Sea fever by Dale side at 4.5% alcohol by volume. Left over from the beer festival, 149 a pint. There's quite a few of those. This could be a good day. I could be fast asleep again. Anyway, Mr. Manning, carpets. Hmm. That's not bad. Nice bit of finish. There's a hint of citrus in there, but only a little hint. That I am liking. B. Thank you. And number two. This is Driftwood Trail. Driftwood Pale Ale from Drift... I can't say it. Driftwood Brewing at 5% alcohol by volume. Canadian, although brewed in the UK by Thwaites. So you can say that. Nice head. 149 a pint. I'm filling my boots. Creamy. Citrusy. Lovely. Ooh, empty citrus finish. Licking my lips. B plus plus. Listening to Twit. Times are good. The sun's out as well. And talking of weights, this is Coil Spring. The pictures of lambs on the pump clip. At 3.8% alcohol by volume. That guy just walked through the picture. Manchester. Big Twitterer. Interested in his customers. Top man. Where was I? 3.8% uh, alcohol by volume. Big, nice, creamy head. Nice carpet. Mr. Manning.
I'd say that's a classic English bitter. Bitter. That's another B++. This um, end of the beer festival. This is really good. Drunk too much already. Thankfully, 3.8%. Brew Dog, Punk IPA, 5.6% alcohol by volume. Now standard in all weather spoons. Superior Scottish Brewed, Hoppy IPA. Can't remember what I gave it. Gave it, actually. But I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking A minus. Close to an A. Wow. Then the chippy. Find the lamb. Hoping for some tiny rebel. I'm in the lamb and I've been talking to some guy who's never been to Wales before and he stopped off in Newport. Hats off to him anyway. Uh, this is one inch nail, 3.9% tiny rebel. They were discussing whether it was clear or not. Here's the thing. Looks are good, taste is better. Hops, 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 A minus. And full of chips as well. <sighs> the whiten. Post tiny rebel. It's so good. A jerk. You don't see those often nowadays. Anyway, this is from Vogue, the Baylor Glamorgan Breweries. This is Dark Matter. A black currant porter. There's not a whole lot of black currant in it. But it's um, Jimi Hendrix in the background. Will I get them? Um, there's a touch up front. Could do it more in the finish. B plus. But the Vogue boys, they're the boys.